Welcome to Novelty with the brand new Casio Edifice EQW A1000 DC1 AER camera. Uh, not camera, it's actually a watch or a swatch. You can see here again the name on the back and also there will be a little plate on the inside. But let's just take a first look at what you will get inside the box for your about 500 bucks that you have to pay for this beautiful watch. Um, it will be my new watch for the Computex, so my Tissot um, touch won't be in Taiwan this time of the year but let's see which one will be better so we have a really thick manual these there is I think about well 10 languages in here and then there is again sm some small little papers for um, the solar function the, the quartz um, function and so on because you can actually charge this uh, watch just by having it on when the sun is shining like right now it's quite beautiful here outdoors and now you can see here that's the beautiful part this will be the watch so you just have to open this little box up and then you will have your brand new casio edifice watch right inside as you're able to hear it's not plastic it's all metal like the watch itself it's really high class made in japan of course or i hope we will see when i take it out of the little foil here um, if it's made in japan or in switzerland or any well, like that, it's a stainless steel for sure. And let's take off this foil so I can see more. Here we go. Then you will be able to see more too. And it says on the back, it's made in Japan. As I said, of course, Casio has really good quality. I hope you can see something, it's not reflecting too much. And we will, of course, compare it to my um, Tissot. There's some buttons on the side as you can see here is uh, three buttons right there and one on the other side I have to learn of course what all of these do and what all of the um, Things here on the display can do is except for uh, showing me what time it is uh, in a wrong time zone actually right now um, Here again the name It's the 1000 or a 1000 series from 2012 and here on the back you can see there's also some foil on here which you just uh, which you will be able to take off but you can also uh, open it up right away like this just by pressing here these two sticks to the middle and then it will let go of this little jack so it's the same thing with Tissot so I will take them take it off and then you can see the size comparison right here the Casio is a little bit bigger but it looks also maybe a lot better because it's more glossy but I mean the Tissot is now three years old or maybe soon even four and the Casio is a little bit thicker also but not too much so if you press the button in the middle you will see that something starts to rotate right there and I think we are in the stop function right now because it says ST right there or maybe the red thing and then you can press different buttons like here on the top and then it will start to uh, read the time and it even has the 100 milliseconds there so if I hit it again I think it will stop and then you can see right away okay we had um, 9 seconds and um, I don't even know how many milliseconds but yeah you can read it quite nicely then you can press it again in the middle and you will go to the next function bit which uh, as I said I have to learn there's of course world time for example alarm uh, it, it knows the temperature and so on and so on so it's a really quite beautiful um, watch it feels good on your hand it's also available with different um, arm rigs of course so it looks like this when you have it on now of course I have it the wrong way around but well it looks really quite beautiful and I will it will be my pleasure to have it on for the next few days at the Computex and for a lot of videos I hope in the future we had just 2000 videos on Endeavor TV so Thank you my everybody for tuning in. Till next time please tune in again with the um, with more videos to the KCO um, A1000 series and a lot of more gadgets. Till next time please tune in again. My name is Balashka.